Oh hey there friends, hi, welcome back to my channel, thanks for clicking on another video. In today's video I'm going to be talking about how to stop caring what other people think and I feel like the better way to phrase this would be to say how to stop worrying about what other people think or how to stop fearing what other people think because we are all always low-key gonna care in some way or another about what other people think but in this video I'm gonna share with you how I learned to stop letting the fear of what other people may or may not think control me, hold me back, cripple me with anxiety all of the above um, and if you've clicked on this maybe you're curious maybe you're struggling with that too um, and I'm gonna show you stuff that literally changed my life when I tell you it's changed my life it's something that I have to revisit often as well because I feel like in this life we can slip back into old habits really easy especially the fear of what other people think so my first tip is to realize that other people care what you think about them now this oh let's dig into that goodness this was key for me. Other people, there are people out there right now who are worrying, caring, fearing what you think of them. They're sat there about to make a decision and then they're thinking, oh, Rachel might not like that. Or, oh, Chi Chi's going to think I'm weird if I say it like that. They, other people care and worry about what you think. Now, the reason this kind of changed my life, or let me tell you when I realised this and, and why it was so significant to me. I was having a conversation with a previous housemate this was back at uni and she was telling me some story I honestly the fact that I can't even remember what it was about but she was telling me some story and she was telling me how she was gonna do this but then she decided not to and I was like oh why that sounds really good and she was like oh I thought I was worried that you might think insert such and such thing that I didn't think and I remember sitting there thinking oh no I I I don't care and I said to her like no I, I don't care do whatever you want and I need to stress, the decision that she was talking about was something which only concerned her. It had nothing to do with me. So for me, it was really weird that she was thinking about what I thought because I wasn't thinking about her decision. I didn't really care. It wasn't any of my business. I cared about her as a person. The fact that I can't even remember what it was about, that should show how ridiculous it was that she cared what I thought about it. But this old friend had made a decision to not do something that she thought she should do based on her assumption about what I would think about her decision. Meanwhile, I did not care. And I remember in that moment sitting there thinking, why has she done that? Why does she care what I think? And it was bizarre to me that anyone would care what I thought that much. And so for me, that really um, was a light bulb moment because as I sat there, I realized, oh my gosh, I do that too. I'm thinking of her as being crazy for caring what I think, but I do that all the time too about what she thinks of me, you know? I'll hold back doing something in case my friends think I'm weird or I'll, I'll force myself to go to a party in case my friends think I'm boring and, and all of these things where I don't do what I truly believe and want to do out of fear of what someone else may or may not think. So for me, just deeping the fact that your opinion is right up there with their opinion. People really do hold your opinion right up there, even higher sometimes. Sometimes people hold your opinion higher than they hold their own. Psh, mind blowing. Other people care what you think. Just sit with that and really let it sink in. Number two, uh, my second point, and these points might come across as harsh initially, but hopefully as you think about them, they'll be freeing and joyous as they have been for me. Uh, number two is to realise that other people don't think about you. And I know that sounds really harsh, but let's deep that. <laughs> other people don't think about you. Everyone is their own main character. I am my own main character. My sisters, they are my sidekicks to my sisters. They are the main character and I am their sidekick. Just, <laughs> just kidding, girls. Just kidding, sisters. Love you. Always got to show love to, uh, to Kelly and Michelle, you know? Keep them, keep them on side. Anyway, <laughs> people don't think about you that much because they're busy. They have other stuff going on. So while you're sat there worrying what they may or may not think of your Instagram story, chances are they probably won't watch it because they're busy. And even if they do watch it, they won't think about you for that long because they've got other stuff going on and they're too busy worrying about what you think about them or thinking about themselves. And that's not to say other people are bad. It's not to say that you aren't important. You are important, you are loved. But just know that what you're worrying about and what you're fearing, often it doesn't even exist because 
people aren't actually thinking about you, okay? And if they are, it's only for like a really short time, like a really short time. For example, um, you probably don't think of me that often, <laughs> you know? I'm so grateful for you and I'm so grateful that you're watching this video. But let's be honest, you've got a whole other life that you get on with for the other 24 hours of your day. So if this video takes up 15 minutes of your day and if you're watching this thinking, oh, I don't like it, oh, I mean, I know you're not thinking you don't like my top. It is so cute. I love this top. Got it in Malta from Zara, had done a story on my Instagram asking people if I should buy or not buy. Baby, I bought it. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, you might be sitting there thinking, oh, I don't really like her top. But like, you're not gonna think about that for the rest of the day. Or maybe you will now that I've said it, but you probably won't think about it. You'll probably just be like, oh, so if you didn't like the top, you'd be like, oh, I don't like the top. And you would carry on. You would carry on with the rest of your day, focus on all the other stuff you have to do. So number two, realizing people don't think about you that much should help you to prioritize how high up you put their thoughts about you. You know what I mean? Okay, number three is also kind of harsh. Um, this is a saying I heard years ago. It must be like seven years ago now. I heard it um, in a sermon. The preacher basically said, that shyness is a form of selfishness. I've got like my eyelashes are like sticking together. He said, being shy is being selfish. And I remember thinking that's super harsh. What do you mean? That's super harsh. You can't call shy people selfish. And he basically explained it in a way that kind of made sense. He was like, if you're constantly thinking about what other people think about you, um, you know, worried about what are they going to think of me and, and they're going to judge me, 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 me. All you're focusing on is yourself. You need to focus on other people and on what it is that you are blessing others with. So for example, if you're about to give a talk or a presentation in front of a group of people and you're worrying about what they might think of you, instead of focusing on yourself and what other people think of you, try and focus on how you can bring them the information in a clear and enjoyable and amazing way for their benefit. So turning around and instead of thinking about yourself, thinking about them um, and what you're doing or the work or passion or project that you're doing. I personally found this really helpful because um, it helped me to realize that, oh, the world doesn't revolve around me. And <laughs> mind blown um but yeah it's i don't need to constantly worry about what people think about me because it's not all about me there are other things that i need to get out here for example if i was sat here thinking oh my gosh what will the people watching this think about my hair and my makeup and my top and my all oh, my family photos i love my family i'm so grateful um <laughs> Sorry, I'm so easily distracted sometimes. But if I was sitting here worrying about that instead of focusing on how can I genuinely help the person watching this video? How can I genuinely give them something that frees them, even just that little bit, from the fear and crippling anxiety of what other people think of them? And, and so what I do, instead of worrying about what if my video is not perfect? What if my energy, honestly, uh, my energy today has not been great so part of me when I started this video was like oh I'm not really my usual bubbly self I'm a bit meh um, and what if people don't like that but I have to push that aside because I truly believe that there are really good things that I have to say today and I know I know in my soul that they can help you and so it's not all about me I'm not going to focus on being perfect or this weird Thing, a weird belief that you need me to be perfect because you don't need me to be perfect and it's not all about me. I'm here, yes, because I enjoy it and I love it, but also for you guys. So yeah, for me, um, choosing to accept or you know understand the point of view that being shy can be a form of selfishness and self-obsessedness really helped me uh, to be less shy and be less overly conscious of what other people are thinking about me. <laughs> Number four is, let's say that people are actually thinking about you, right? Let's, let's pretend that the worst, even though we've already discussed how unlikely it is that they're thinking about you, let's pretend, worst case scenario, they're thinking about you and they're thinking bad things about you. Why on earth would you prioritize what other people think of you over your own dreams and passions? Like, because that's what it is. So, for example, let's use the example that you're about to start a YouTube channel, but you're holding back because you're worried that people are going to think it's rubbish, people are going to watch your videos and laugh. 
So, uh, so what is the reason why you want to start the YouTube channel? Why do you want to write a book? Whatever it is that you want to do that you're currently holding yourself back from doing out of fear of what people may or may not think about you. What is it? Why do you want to do that thing? Say it now. Okay. That's a really cool and important and valid reason. So say you want to write a book so that you can inspire a future generation, so that you can make the most of the God-given talent that you have, so that you can be free from a job that makes you stressed and tired and angry and snappy at your children and family. Those are all really good reasons. So you're going to trade up all of that for what Joseph thinks of you or whoever it is. Why? How is that a fair trade? So say you want to start a YouTube channel that's like amazing, helps you to become financially free, inspire others, express yourself, find yourself, all of this. You're going to trade all of that so that Joseph or whoever, insert name here, will stop thinking bad things about you. That's a really bad swap. That is such a bad trade. <laughs> and I mean that, like, don't swap that because number one, Whoever it is that's going to think those bad things about you, they're probably going to think it anyway. Whether you do or don't, they're probably going to think it anyway. So why on earth would you swap the potential of achieving your dream for the hope of them not thinking? Like, dude, just take the L. For me personally, cool, let them think bad stuff about you. It's really not that deep. It's really not that deep. Every time that you decide to do or not to do something based on what someone may or may not think about you, or even on the certainty that they will think bad things about you, ask yourself if that was a good, sh if that was a good swap. Ask yourself if that was a good swap. Because chances are it really wasn't. It really wasn't a very smart swap. <laughs> okay, final point number five that I've written down is that not fearing and worrying about what other people think of you is actually really cool now in my experience every time I have gone out on a limb been brave chosen not to fear what people think of me and do what I believe God is calling me to do people have been inspired by it people have come to me and said Sarah I love that you started Fit Club for example in my university I was terrified of starting a uh, fitness society but I overcame my fears and I did it and rather than making fun of me and laughing at me people were super supportive a few people made fun of me and laughed at me but the vast majority of people were really supportive and loved it and um, every time in my experience when I've put myself out there honestly what it does is it inspires other people that they can do the same that they don't have to be scared that they can go for what they believe in they can go for their dreams they can take that chance and so I want to encourage you that actually most of the time when you stop living in fear and worry out of what people think and you take that step what you will find is that they actually think really positive things what they really think and sometimes say to you is wow well done that was really brave I'm proud of you um, and you won't even know that until you do that thing because a lot of people don't even realize that until they see you do it so I want to encourage you not to live in fear not to worry there are people in your life who love you and they love you the real you not just the version that you present and um, if they can't love the real you uh, then be the real you and allow those people who will love the real you to find you but in order to allow that you have to be yourself it's really cool. Um, but yeah, I hope that this has been helpful. As I say, it's really warm in here. My camera's starting to overheat. I'm sweating. Um, and so I'm not going to drag this on. It's already been long enough. But I really hope that I've been able to communicate that. I pray by God's grace I've been able to communicate um, those thoughts in a way that is helpful and a blessing to you. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, let me know your thoughts. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Love you so much, guys. Bye.